Hi, welcome to Market Update for March 24th. Well, going into the last week of March, there are a few things that we need to keep in mind. In fact, there are three things that we want to watch. Number one, of course, the politics of the day. We see what's happening with the vote on health care and keep in mind that we are now looking at what is going to be a, a, a debate as to whether we're going to see legislation this year or whether it's going to be pushed out maybe one or two years. So let's pay attention to the rhetoric that comes out of D.C. Now, on top of that, we have eight Fed governors speaking next week. Now, remember, this is a time that's very crucial for the Fed. In fact, we're at an inflection point as to whether they're going to raise another two times or another three times. And of course, that's all going to be factored into the pricing of the market. Then on top of all of that, we have the end of the month, the end of the quarter. And understand, this is a quarter where we have seen new all-time highs, time and time again. So a lot of portfolio managers that might have been underinvested or left on the sidelines will more than likely come in and do a little window dressing. Look for that to happen on the T plus three, which is on Tuesday, the last day to trade stocks in the quarter. And of course, the end of the quarter, which is next Friday. Either way, next week is going to be one of those big weeks that's either going to make or break the next quarter for stocks and for bonds. Let's pay attention. This is Jack Perugian from the CME Group in Chicago.